Hey, welcome back. Uh, and if this is your first time, welcome. But as always, if you like the content of this video, please like and subscribe and share us out. It really helps the channel. But we're going to get into a 2022 special review right after this. All right, so 2022. So what did we come across? So we're gonna go over, I have two control bourbons that I know are good and everyone likes. One of them's kind of hard to get. The other one's available all over the place. And I have three surprises from this year uh, that I was able to find. I'll try to get through this as quickly as possible, but uh, you know, I'm gonna have to give it a fair shake. So what we have here uh, is the E.H. Taylor Small Batch Bottled and Bond. Um, we have the Old Forester 1920, arguably the best of the Murderer Row lineup. So we're just going to stick straight with these. Uh, these are, uh, this is of course 100 proof because, you know, it's bottled in bond. Uh, the 1920 is 115 proof. That's another reason I chose these bourbons. Uh, but what we have here on the left is Buzzard Roost. This is a uh, barrel strength, but it's only 114.5 proof. So there's that. And I'll get into why I selected these here shortly. Uh, then we have the uh, cast strength version of Lincoln Pinch's bourbon. Uh, very difficult to get at 119.3 proof. I have poured these ahead of time, but you can tell I didn't pour very much uh, because if I'm going to get through all of these, it's going to be a feat. So Holland's Ghost here, this is by Reservoir Distillery. It comes in at 107 proof. Now, I'm going to sip on the controls first uh, and remind myself, which I'm very familiar with these, but I'm going to remind myself of the nose on these. Yep, very familiar on the Old Forester 1920. You're getting some black cherry, you're getting some black pepper, you, you know, those types of things. Uh, let me uh, nose the E.H. Taylor here. Now, the E.H. Taylor has a softer nose than the 1920. It's more of your caramel vanilla based uh, flavors coming through notes. Uh, Buzzard's Roost, why did I pick this one? As one of my amazing bourbons of 2020, well, it's because um, they have, now this is MGP juice. Now I know they're changing their name from MGP, blah, 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 whatever. They're endearing to my heart, they will always be MGP to me. Uh, but this is Indiana sourced bourbon, but they have a proprietary toasting on their barrels that they do. And they finish them for about 18 months or so in those beautiful toasted barrels, char one uh, and stuff like that. So why did I pick Lincoln Pinch? This is more of a boutique bourbon. This is a craft distillery out of Franklin, Kentucky, uh, only available in the local area and around Nashville and Middle Tennessee. So, uh, you know, think of Bowling Green, Franklin, Tennis, uh, Nashville, it's all, their distribution is very limited. But if you're ever through that area, this is worth a grab. Um, the last one here on my list is, in no particular order, by the way, uh, is Reservoir Distilleries Holland's Ghost. This is a, another limited edition. This is also very difficult to get, very limited distribution. This is out of a distillery in Virginia. And I just happen to live in North Carolina, so, so we're getting bottles here. Uh, but this is a Reservoir Distillery sells their used barrels to uh, a, a brewery who makes ardent stout in them, so a beer, and then they get the barrels back and finish the, this particular limited edition bourbon in those ardent stout barrels. So all of these are very unique. Uh, this is very sourced, uh, local source grain. Uh, I uh, did, shot a documentary film on this one, by the way, and I will include the link to the documentary film uh, in the description down below. So if you wanna know about how Dueling Grounds uh, does uh, th their bourbons, and why it's such, uh, you know, uh, if you're ever in that area, a, a, such a, a must do to go grab one, uh, take 33 minutes and watch that documentary film and give it a thumbs up, please. I, I you know, a lot of work went into that. It took me months uh, to shoot that thing. Uh, did shoot on site. So uh, at the farm and the distillery, went through all the grain process, everything. It's a good documentary. All right. So 
I'm going to taste uh, first and foremost uh, the E. H. Taylor. I uh, put it. I, I, I have different snifters here uh, to sip from, so I don't get them mixed up. Mm. Oh yeah, that is a very good bottled and bond from E. H. Taylor, the award-winning E. H. Taylor line from Buffalo Trace. You know, you can't go wrong. Uh, probably the should be the lowest priced. So I know this is uh, hard to get in places. They have it available in Texas for a reasonable price. I would expect to pay about $85 for this bottle of E.H. Taylor. So, and it was it's well worth the $85. But if you find this for $130, I would suggest other bourbons. Now, Old Forester 1920. Should expect to pay about $65 for this bottle. Now, prices vary geographically, so don't hold me to these prices, but around here, typically, this is about a $65 bottle. I'm going to take a little sip of it. Mm. Oh, wow. That thing just explodes in your mouth. Very familiar, uh, but Old Forester 1920 is spot on. Excellent. Now, the cheaper end of this is the Buzzard's Roost. This is going to run you for the barrel strength. Of course, barrel strength costs more. Um, they, they get fewer bottles out of the barrel. They don't, they don't water them down. They don't cut them with water. So this is about $67, somewhere along in there. So comparable to the Old Forester 1920. So let me take a little sip of this. Mm. Booyah. There's that toasted, oh, marshmallowy goodness coming out in there a little bit. Um, th this one is a rival. Th what they're doing with their toasted barrels, that proprietary toasting or whatever they're doing, is finishing that MGP juice. A and they have several different offerings. You can go look at Buzzard's Roost uh, site and, and see what all they do. They tell about the mash bills and all that. Uh, they use several different ones. But uh, one of them is a blend and, and all of this type of stuff. But this, th that, that toast on this thing is excellent. Lincoln Pinch, going to run you about $85 if you can get by the distillery or find it somewhere or in or around Nashville area or Bowling Green, Kentucky or in the liquor stores. Uh, but this one is a fantastic uh, non-GMO source grains. Um, there's uh, no rye in this. This is a, a wheated uh, offering, but it goes up to, I think they use 12% malted barley in here. I believe that is correct. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, the buttery goodness on this thing is fantastic. Now, very hard to get. This is going to be more available, and this is going to become widely available. I checked uh, from a story from July of 2022. They listed about seven or eight uh, states plus Alberta, Canada. But they also said, if you want uh, to get it in your state, uh, send us an email. And I'll put that email in the description down below as well. Um, so yeah, just, just look down there and, and, and look for that, that email and get your local liquor store, liquor store to, to try to get some because this stuff is fantastic. Now, Holland's Ghost, this is well, well worth it. All right, so let me grab my glass here. Give her a little swirl. Oh, this is Christmas on the nose. Mm. Oh, that chocolatey, the cocoa, the the brightness that comes out, but it has a molasses -y undertone. This stuff is fantastic. I'm telling you right now. Now, I'm not saying these are the best bourbons of 2020. These were the unique bourbons I found in 2020, uh, my top three uh, that I found, that I'd never had before, that I tried, you know, first time try, all of that compared to these, um, I think the Lincoln Pinch more closely compares to probably the E.H. Taylor small batch uh, and roughly the same price. Uh, but this does have unique characteristics far beyond uh, the E.H. The e. Taylor small batch. Uh, this is a much uh, more notes coming out in these. Uh, every one of these I would put up in the heck yes range. 
So we're not even going to do the slider today. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you can get your hands on any of these, do that. And uh, we'll see what 2023 brings. But as always, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell down there for notifications. And I promise I'll keep making you these videos.